A South Jersey woman's win on a slot machine in Atlantic City is being called into question. She turned to our investigative team for answers after she says the casino refuses to pay the jackpot. Investigative reporter Chad Brudelli tonight with the details. Valley's Casino and the gaming company International Gaming Technology are disputing the alleged seven-figure windfall. She says the casino called her win a technical glitch and is stiffing her. I was hoping for the thousand dollars. I would say, please, God, let me win. Please let me win. I had a wheel. Tell them. Roni Beal loves playing the slots. Back in February, she went to Bally's in Atlantic City and dumped hundreds of dollars into a Wheel of Fortune machine. And it went off. It says, you're a winner, and gold coins popped out. This guy, very nice guy, says, oh, my God, you hit, you hit. He said, lady, you are a millionaire. The jackpot, more than 1.2 million. What's more, Bill says she also hit the multiplier. With everyone around her celebrating, she hit the service button on the slot. Security then swarmed. That's when the sentences came up tilted. When the, the man came over to talk to me, he said, lady, get it in your head. You want nothing. Beal says she was told the machine had a malfunction known as real tilt, which she was told voids the win. She says after a Bally's attendant came and opened the machine, he asked for her to spin it off. Beal refused. He had it rolling real slow. He had it opened. And then he's pushing it. She says the attendant then hit different buttons inside, ultimately offering her a mere 350 bucks. They fooled with the machine before the anybody else had to take, you know, had an opportunity to take a look at this. Okay, all right. Attorney Mike DeCroce represents Beal. He says that action by a casino attendant may have tampered with any evidence of the win. He has now asked the New Jersey Gaming Enforcement, Bally's, and IGT, the responsible party for the payout, to preserve the machine and casino floor videos for an independent forensic review. You invite somebody to your business, they pay the money, they win, you're supposed to pay. That didn't happen. And it turns out this is not the first case where a real tilt has been disputed on a Wheel of Fortune slot machine. Jacques Bazou took Harris Casino in New Orleans and died GT to court in 2000 after his client disputed the same slot malfunction. The IGT took the position that look, even though aesthetically these symbols came up, it wasn't a win because the computer says it wasn't a win. Bazoo says a jury did not agree, nor did an appellate judge. After years in legal limbo, IGT was ultimately responsible for the $1.3 million jackpot. Bill is hoping the law and some luck will help her cash in on what she believes is hers. Why would I ever go to the casino again in my life? Any casino, why? There's no hope. Bally's Casino had no comment and said it only houses the machine and referred us to IGT. Multiple attempts to reach IGT for comment have gone unanswered. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. The Vanity License Plate Program in Delaware is on pause this following.